Welcome to the Concert Queen Connect. My name is Clarissa, and today we're going to do a little solo episode. It's not going to be super long, but we've got some things that we need to talk about. There's been a lot of things that have changed in Austin and in Texas. Um, I feel like we're just this redheaded stepchild um, that's happening right now in the country, let alone like the world in the sense of everything seems to kind of go against the grain. And the mask mandate has been lifted as of last Wednesday. So now it's been, when you're watching this, it's going to be a full week that we have not had to wear masks. And it's different. Um, I went out for the first time to uh, their shows that I was going to. Um, some of them required masks. Some of them didn't. And to be honest, it was really strange because I've worn masks the whole time. Um, already had COVID, already been there, done that did not get the t-shirt, don't want the t-shirt, but definitely want the vaccine. I definitely want that. However, um, with that being said, it was a unique situation to go out to shows. And for the first time, there's a lot of people that were experiencing shows for the first time in over a year as well that I talked to, that I was standing next to. Um, It was my comfortability to be out and about and do that. But like I said, there was a lot. um, Some things were open air. Some things were closed. But in the midst of all that, there were a lot of things that I noticed that people, I mean, y'all just lost y'all's minds when it comes to what you do at a show and etiquette. And when I say etiquette, that is how to respect others and just things that just the way that you should be at a show and the things that you should not do at a show. And these are probably things too, that maybe even you just need a fresh reminder. They're just things that you (laughs) pet peeves for us all. We all have our pet peeves, but I feel like they were even heightened and they were even more noticeable this weekend because of the fact that we haven't had shows in a really long time. Um, but the other side to that was that people, I've never seen people so happy And there are just people celebrating and the fact that we are able to go out. And like I said, I feel like we're on the other side of this. I know there's some people that will disagree with me. um, But Austin itself has gone down to stage three um, with everything going on. One of the first things that I saw, um, bless her heart, I have my dear friend, Jen. She's maybe like five foot, five one. Um, First and foremost, if you are gargantuanly tall, like six, seven, six, eight, sir, you know, I'm talking about you this weekend. Um, a homie came and stood right in front of my friend, Jen, who is again, just this little tiny, amazing human. However, she loves shows. And I literally watched this guy stand right in front of her and (laughs) she just, it was very, very disheartening. It hurt my heart to see that. And she, there was like really nowhere for her to move. Um, that happens. Short people problems. However, like, come on, tall people. There's no reason to go and stand in front of people like that, especially when you're that tall. This guy literally blocked the artist on the stage and I couldn't even see that person because he was standing maybe like three people back from the very front. Not cool. Like, no, not doing that. Um, second thing that I noticed with concert etiquette is cell phones. You got your cell phone out and you're pulling it up and you've got it literally above everyone and you're blocking everyone's point of view. Let's not do that. That's the second thing. Cut it out. You're absolutely like, I do it sometimes, but I know when to do it. And I quickly put my phone back away. So Yes, I know that I do this, but I do it with intention to share. But if you go to a show, you see me get my video and I put my phone away. Um, That's me. But however, y'all know who you are. You got your phone up. You're moving around. You're dancing. You go back and you look at that (laughs) video and it is moving with you. You You're not watching it. You're not. You just delete it. And you just wasted literally an hour and a half and your arm probably hurts from holding your phone up. I know my my arm this weekend cramped really bad on Saturday, but it's because I was literally doing this and dancing for three days. So on me, but it is what it is. Some of the other things that I saw, we talked about the tall people, we talked about cell phones. Let's talk about the good old flash. Having your flash on while you're recording video. 
typically concerts and shows were happening at night. And I literally saw this girl continuously turn her flash on and was recording. And it just, I, it looked like people in like, like everyone was a zombie and like I am legend where they shine the flashlight in there and people were trying to hide. No one wants to see a flash at one, two o'clock, three o'clock, whatever clock in the morning, because we're all just in a different zone, different place. But ladies, gentlemen, please do not use your flash when you're filming, when you're taking photos. Don't use a flash, period. If anything, turn down your display so it's not blasting you in the face and everyone around you too. Um, to that point, number four, when you are talking to people, why are you talking right in the middle of a show? Like understand bars or understand restaurants or other places, maybe you're casually waiting in line. But when you're literally... We're going to go three people deep, four people deep. You're there. I understand dancing your friends being like, oh, yeah, that's that song. But when you're just standing there having a full on conversation about your work week and the things that you are doing, but you're having super intense conversation in the middle of the crowd when everyone around you is dancing or everyone around you is singing along, whatever that looks like, take the conversation outside, take it to the bar I don't know, take it to the bathroom line. Just take it somewhere else to not sit there and have a conversation so everyone can hear you, especially the more drunk you get and the more little tipsy, your voice starts to get a little higher and higher and pretty soon you're yelling in everyone's ear. No one likes that. Not fun. Let's not do that. Speaking of bathrooms, let's talk about bathroom etiquette. Um, never thought I'd have to say this. However, I saw it happen um, on Friday and Saturday where stay in line at the bathroom, just mind my own business. And you see like three girls go in a stall together and basically like take up that entire stall for God knows how long I get it. I've been there, but when you got a line of people, probably not the nicest thing to do. And probably, especially when you're like, there's a girl literally like, cut the line to get in front of everybody. And like was the first one out. Like, why? Let's not do that either. Let's just wait in line, go to the bathroom, get in, do your business, get out. If you got to talk, do it outside, do something like that. This just, this is just apply that to life. Like just apply that if you go to the rest, like restrooms are for restrooms. Who wants to hang out in the restroom? You really should. I mean, unless you're doing your other stuff, like putting on your makeup, fixing your hair, whatever that looks like, guys, I don't know what else you're doing in there, but ladies just get in and get out. There's no reason to hang out in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the bar. And let's talk about drinks. When you were drinking and you were dancing, things start to swirl around and start to go places. Look, I just spilled it myself. But that's how easy it was. Um, if you are dancing and you've got a drink in your hand, watch what you're doing. Let's try not to spill on others. If you got that cranberry vodka, you're getting red all over yourself and others. Let's not do that. Let's not cool the drink and dance, but let's not just spill and get it all over everyone. That's not fun. Also with drinks and water, this is something that someone specifically said, y'all went ham and I got so many responses about things that you guys had as pet peeves. And one of the ones that really kind of made me laugh out loud was someone said, can we not spray people with water bottles and throw water everywhere? Amen, sister. I do not think that you should be throwing water. People get all dolled up to go to shows. It's their first time going out in forever. And then they're soaked. Their hair is all soaked with water. I mean, there's really just, if you're excited, great but no reason to just start throwing water everywhere. No one needs to do that. Probably one of my personal biggest pet peeves, and this definitely happened to me um, this weekend, and other people mentioned it's probably one of the most common ones, was the fact when you are watching the show, you're trying, you're the respectful one. You're like, mind, everybody own, like, mind everybody's business, mind your own business. And then you have these people that you think are just passing through but they stop literally right in front of you. Why? Why do that? <laughs> Y'all know. And, and if you're watching this and you're guilty of this, 
just, it's okay. Like we can all change. There's nothing wrong with those little tweaks, but definitely just don't stop in front of someone, especially when you know they've been there, they've got their little space. And hey, if that's happening to you, tap them on the shoulder and ask them to keep moving. I think that is a totally valid thing to ask when that happens, because I know for a fact that happened to me. I was just standing in my own little space. And keep in mind, this was like a 20% capacity show. So it wasn't even like the full, full show. This There was space. There was space everywhere. But these two guys literally came and stood right in front of me. No, let's not do that. Let's not stand right in front of other people who have their spot. Just keep it moving. Give people their space. Don't spill drinks on them. <laughs> there's no there's no reason. I will also say that to go back to the talking at a show, if someone is intently watching the show and you see them, that they're singing along, if they're engaged, if they have not even looked at you or looked twice at you, probably don't tap them on the shoulder and try to start a conversation. I had um, a guy actually last weekend, I was dancing, I had my eyes closed as I usually do because I'm just in the zone and I have had this furry coat on. This guy's like, oh, uh, you, you wear the, you win the award for the fuzziest jacket of tonight. Cool. Thank you. Just kept dancing doing my own thing. And he's like, what's your name? Just want, try to start a conversation. In any other setting, I would probably engage with him, talk to him for a little bit. But in this setting, I just wanted to watch the show. It was like 1.30, the show was ending at two and just wasn't a conversation I wanted to entertain. And he proceeded to get very upset, walked away. But again, I'm not the bad guy in that situation. He was talking to me while I'm intently watching the show. Respect people when they're trying to watch these things, especially when do you're dancing. Dancing is another thing. You can dance, you can vibe, but as you start to get more of those drinks in your system, maybe you get a little bit more loose and maybe you are bumping into people and you're not realizing it. Now, again, I love to have fun. I you know, love tequila, love to have a drink or two here and there. But there's no reason for me to get really sloppy and be all over and hitting people and bumping into each other. It's not a game of ping pong or pinball, but you see, you know what I'm talking about. You see those human pinballs where those people cannot walk straight. It's not we're it's a year later. Let's let's hope that we've all learned better. One of the things. I have this because my friend actually left this in my car this weekend. Sorry, Lord. Um, Y'all, do you know what I'm pulling out? Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> the clack. Oh God, that's so like it even it even hurts me. It's like cringeworthy. Let's not do this. Fans are for fanning. It's about to be the summer. It's gonna get hot. But this thing, oh, <laughs> I can't even do it. Please don't do that. Let's not clack. Clackers, y'all clack and clack together, but like go do that like in a park, in a forest, like in the middle of nowhere where you're the only ones that can hear yourself do that. But like, no, please. Fans, great. Fan yourself. It's going to get really hot. I love a good fan. I think this is a beautiful fan but not when you start clacking. We do not need clackers. Couple of last things, and these are just minor, but hopefully you've gotten some value out of this. Just friendly, friendly reminders. Having people, putting people on your shoulders. Again, you're blocking other people's view. Probably don't need to do that. Let's try not to do that. Um, what are some other things that some people said? Uh, biggest pet peeves, but... <laughs> I just, I loved it. I loved reading all of them. It took me down concert lane. Um, but bottom line, just respect others. Have fun with your friends. But those little things, phones, clacking, bathroom, bar, <laughs> talking to people at shows, talking really loudly, um, you name it, um, standing in front of shorter people and not being 
aware and sensitive to the people behind you. Those are just basic things. These sound like basic things, but you'd be surprised at how often I saw these things happen this weekend. So that concludes our concert etiquette and the basic things that I feel (laughs) basic offenders. You know who you are. You can, there's still time to change. We're not fully back into shows yet, but just kind of be aware of these things, little rookie mistakes, but I'm confident you can fix them. So thank you so much for being here. You can find me on Instagram at ATX Concert Queen. And we've got some exciting shows that are coming up. I can't, oh, wait. So much work is going into this. Um, Make sure you're liking and subscribing to everything. And I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.